Hey you guys, I am the Creature Keeper, and I am back on the Red Rock server. I haven't been on in a while because the server's been going down whenever I really want to get on it, plus I've been having financial difficulties everywhere. The reality of being unemployed for a year and a half has been like a hand slowly squeezing around me. But then, not much longer than a week ago, I found a new job at last! I'm now a caregiver, taking care of people who are elderly and or disabled. It fits my unique skill set perfectly, and it's not at all the stressful retail work I've done up until now, where you're on your feet all the time and getting rushed off to do this or that, and you come home with an aching back and no energy to write novels or record Minecraft videos or live stream. No, it's nothing like that at all. It involves house keeping, cooking, managing medications, and what else? Uh, oh, also even using a large crane to hoist a person up and into bed. And in between those moments of care, what have I got here? Okay, let's check this. Uh, yeah, I left some stuff baking for a big project I was working on. And anyway, in between those moments of care, I get plenty of time to work on other projects I brought along on my laptop, like Tales from the Creature Keeper, my novel series. It's great. It looks to be the perfect job that will make me financially independent and not eat up all my time, even when it's actually eating up my time. But anyway, the reason... Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, back LD messaged me and said that um, he pranked me. Something about my base being covered in half slabs, and it looks like that actually means half slabs of snow? Huh. Is that it? <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't look like the most effective prank because the light sources have melted most of the snow, but <laughs> I actually kind of like this look. I mean, with the snow on the bridge, what do these signs say? Pranked by Matthew Back LD. Yeah, all right. Um, I actually rather like this. I don't think I'll be launching a missile at his base over this. Oh, and what's this here? Entrance to a winter wonderland? Warning, largest... <laughs> they could be a lot larger. Step up your game back, LD. You should, like, uh, craft the uh, snow into blocks and then cover everything. Make it look like a blizzard took a dump on my place. And I would probably laugh and laugh at that, and then want to kick you. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. Um, let me uh, provide a world tour as long as I'm here, because I haven't been on in a while. Let's take a look around, see what's changed. Um, whoa! Looks like there's been some creeper troubles at Back LD's base. He still hasn't eliminated that water. Um, yeah, this is the house I built for him. I'm not sure I like how the, um, how the, uh, dark woods kind of leak there. They look alright, I suppose, but I now kind of wish I had made the color run down a bit, like, uh, like it was paint running down the walls. That might have looked a little better. But I do love the window he's put in the top floor, and up there is his snow farm. I still have no idea why it's up so high. He's got some tree farming going on over here. Looks like he's finally lit up his uh, pumpkin and wheat farm. So, oh yeah, this is his squid spawner. With some... What are those planks in there? Hi, Mr. Squid. Sorry you can't survive on land, but I'll be taking your ink sacks when you expire. Yeah, just like that. Thank you. Ah, uh, he's still got too many ho or have endermen appeared and been stealing his dirt there? That's that'd be quite a drag, a bother. <clears throat> let's see, what else is there to talk about? Um well let's see, my new job, it's like the kind of job I've always wanted to give me a future and a hope. That said though, I was thrown into it immediately after training because the office was so short-handed. <clears throat> uh, so I've been kind of recovering from that. I ended up uh, being a temp for a bunch of not a bunch, uh, several other caregivers who were sick or on vacation, and so I was dropped into several strange situations as a stranger in a strange land. I mean, I performed competently, 
but I was caught unaware by various questions like, can you cook? That's it, that's all the redstone in there. How did that get in there? What's the story behind that? Oh, I'll take that. Okay. Yeah, anyway, can you cook? That's kind of a baited question because, well, first of all, my specialty is in baking, not so much flat-out cooking. And secondly, uh, I... I've never touched a TV dinner in my life, and I don't intend to start now, but one of the reasons for that is that I'm actually a rather picky eater. I enjoy simple things like roast chicken, cheese sandwiches, pizza, pancakes, and so on. But the catch is that I like to prepare those things myself from scratch most of the time. Have the foundations of this house been getting dug out? I I want to uh, fish up a silk touch book and then uh, take out the black glass, but since we have a squid farm, it's probably okay to uh, just get rid of all this entirely. And then perhaps a uh, tent for sort of a farmer's market tent will go up here with uh, some automatic wheat farms or maybe a nano farm that's fueled by bone meal so you can get infinite wheat, carrots, and potatoes and sell them to villagers for essentially infinite emeralds. Anyway, I keep getting distracted as I'm trying to talk about and explain various things. But anyway, the catch is I like to prepare most foods myself, even simple ones like pizza and uh, sandwiches. <clears throat> and I'll add various touches to them to make them beautiful, like melting butter in a skillet and then toasting a cheese sandwich in it like I'm making a pancake. The butter adds a beautiful bit of extra flavor to it, let me tell you. But I've never, say, made a salad before, and I'm not familiar with pot pies and other fancy dishes that smell funny or have weird textures to me. Well, anyway, I was caught off guard and a little stressed out by the subbing, and the clients didn't seem to appreciate it either. I made it through, though, just by making it clear that I was there to serve, and I didn't mind helping with anything at all. Then I tried to follow my list of tasks as closely as possible and tried not to touch or, any, or break anything beyond that. I couldn't complete all my tasks at first just because the clients didn't trust a rookie a caregiver to be able to handle them, but the home office understood and apologized, and now I have my own client who I'm regularly assigned to. It's a good deal, as I said before, and it should be all smooth sailing from here, especially after I get my first paycheck in a little over a week. Now I should probably think about things to do on Red Rock again. It's a good time to start thinking of... Oh, dang. You know, I'm going to take a shovel and collect myself a bunch of free snow if I do clear all this out, or I may just... Can mobs spawn on snow layers? Or Actually, no. I'm just trying to decide. Might, might I want to go and pile more snow around like this? Because this, <laughs> this is actually kind of a cool look for my base, I think. I mean, there, there's a... what? What's the biome we're in? Isn't it like plains? Yeah, just plain plains. So having some snow around here does help us uh, spruce up the place, brings some personality to everything. I like it. I'll just... I guess time will tell if I actually... Uh, shovel the walk. I'm kind of lazy about that in real life, too. Okay, so... Everyone's been making good use of the... Okay, there's some there. I have plenty of redstone. I don't think I need to... So it's... Oh! Oh! Nice bridge, Ollie! I love it! Okay, and got a snowman here. I don't think he's actually helping to kill the zombies at all, and other mobs that survive, but I, I guess with a repeated barrage he could uh, push them off the edge, but snowballs uh, do no damage unless they're uh, being thrown at blazes or something like that, or ender dragons. I once saw a guy called Panda destroy an ender dragon with nothing but snowballs. That was fun to watch. What else has been going around here? I should probably experiment with the new banners, I guess. My shops are closed forever. What? Okay, so we got... Is this... I think someone new has moved in here. I'm not sure. Oh, and there's a... 
Huh, a cage for the... Let me see if I can get a better look at the... No, no, the new elevator. I should hop over there and check that out. Hang on. So, what am I going to do? Well, I need to uh, get the uh, fishery uh, opened up. I mean, I put the sign up here, and then I never built the darn thing. Look, that's kind of sad, not following through on your promises like that. I'm a horrible person, aren't I? Just kidding, I'm not that bad on this one. Okay, let's take a look at Bit. This is Bitbox's base, I believe. He's got a beautiful platform here with a flower garden. You hit the button and bingo, flowers. Now oh, that's handy to have. I probably would have made the plot of land a bit bigger myself, like uh, at least uh, one wider in all directions, but yeah, that's pretty nice to see. Yeah, bit of yellow dye, white, and no, not white dye, that's light gray dye. Game is kind of tricky like that. Okay, so. What's. Is that Tom's base up there? Dang, I, I'm still trying to figure out certain names. That's kind of. Ooh, the iron trapdoor ceiling! That's pretty fantastic! I hope my uh, Insta Tree platform helped to make that possible. Take a look down here. <laughs> Tamper proof cage. The carrot has returned. <laughs> What's been going on here? This is crazy. Dembo. Oh no, it's. Are drops still being ejected into the abyss? No. I'm either going to have to help Ollie uh, make a. Uh, sorting system for all his mob drops, so I'm going to have to make my own mob farm myself, because that's just a shame and a waste. I, I, I can't stand to look at that. <laughs> I mean, what about all the redstone and glowstone from the witches and stuff? That's so sad. And you can hear arrows being fired. Right. Well, it looks like you can get some drops just by standing around here. That's interesting. <clears throat> I don't blame him for locking things up. Let me just stuff my face here. And aside from the fishery uh, shack, the oh great, hate this part. That's not gonna do it. Kill, 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 kill. L look at the little derp potions he holds. Did I... No, the redstone bounced into the... Wait a second, maybe the hoppers are clogged again. Are they clogged? Is there a chance to save that redstone? No? Oh, that's so sad. I mean, I know you can get redstone from the hoppers and all, but... Actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to empty the redstone rain barrels. That'll help comfort me after which witnessing those tragic losses. Where are... Yeah, there's one over... Why is it... What happened to the sign and the torch I put on top of it? Because I put a torch on top of this so that mobs can't spawn on it, you guys. Um, Do I have... Uh... Okay. No way. Th One, two, three. Yeah, look. Mobs can spawn on hoppers like this. They do not count as, say, half slams. You need to light them up like that. Okay, grab that, that, and that. I can make myself a new pick with that cobble, I guess. Okay, so I've got the uh, CKC treasures that I want to open up there. And I haven't just opened it up because what I'd like to do is I'd like to do some dangerous acrobatics and make kind of like a lake off to the side here with a little fishing shack in the middle of it. That would look fantastic. And it's not the sort of thing you can easily accomplish, though, on a uh, Skyblock server. So, let's see. Alright, got a bit of redstone here. Ooh, nice full stack. 
Everyone else has had plenty of shots at redstone, but I haven't had any for a while, and I'm probably going to need a bunch for the things I have planned. So anyway, apart from that, let me show you... Did you see that one cobblestone platform off to the side over here? Oops, excuse me. Okay, now the snowdrifts are a little annoying. Should I clear them away? Over here, yeah. Darn, I kind of wish he had actually half-slabbed my whole place. That would have been fantastic. Keep mobs from spawning and everything. It would have been beautiful. But here is basically where I'm going to erect a, a huge evil tower with all sorts of nasty things inside of it. It's going to go up bit by bit in stages, and what I'm probably going to do is start by pillaring up to build height and erecting a mob farm up there. My own one that's basically a... A couple of platforms, like just two with tripwire over them so the floor shifts and the mobs drop out, and then they fall like 50 blocks, break every bone in their body, and I get all their loot. But anyway, that's one of my big projects, but I should get CKC treasures opened up first. And I should be starting uh, that out in the next episode, which hopefully won't be uh, too much longer after this one as I get my act together and such. So, stay safe, and I'll see you at the next one. I'll also be having another episode of the Timber River Project on the way, but I got a little bit in over my head with it. I kind of got drunk on power, and you'll see that in the next episode of that series. Anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.